wall. I said, you're not going to tell anybody? You're just going to go? And he said, yeah. So indeed he did. So his voice is coming out of the, of the speakers and you're Danny and Vera and me singing, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas, only it's Bing Crosby singing. And he's not there. He's over the wall. He went to play golf. And may all your Christmases be one. It was a good time at Paramount. Paramount was a wonderful studio. Then it was small. Um, the dressing rooms were all around a kind of a grassy area where there was a fountain. Everybody that worked there knew everybody's name. It was a, a nice place to be. White Christmas opened at Radio City Music Hall in New York City in 1954 to record-breaking crowds. It was one of the most highly anticipated films of the year. The appeal of White Christmas is timeless and continues to this day to be a holiday tradition. But the film is more than big musical numbers and unforgettable characters. White Christmas is a film that has created memories for generations of film lovers throughout the world and very special memories for one of its stars. My fondest memory is just just being able to to further my friendship, deepen the friendship that I had with Bing. That's the thing that came out of the picture that I was left with for the rest of Bing's life. That was very important to me. And they 